In this module, we will look at analog technology, get an overview of analog technology. Analog technology, as we may recall, was used uh, extensively in the past to carry information uh, over the telecommunication line. Analog technology is based on analog signals to carry information. Analog signals are as follows. For example, here is a analog signal. It is a continuously varying signal that goes up and down as shown here. This axis represents the signal strength. It can be voltage for example in volts of electrical signals and of course this axis represents time. This whole signal from here to here is known as one cycle. This is one cycle of the analog signal. And there are certain other terminologies that we need to know and the distance from the baseline to a point on the analog signal is known as the amplitude. Uh, usually people refer to the maximum point here but amplitude can be from here to here as well. So this is the amplitude. Uh, if they don't say anything it's the maximum point from here to here is known as an amplitude. Analog signals are usually characterized by the frequency. What is a frequency? Frequency is measured in cycles per second. Cycles per second. So if this time frame from here to here represents uh, let's say uh, 0 0.25 seconds, that is one fourth of a second, then the frequency of this analog signal is as follows. One signal every one fourth second means there are four signals or four cycles per second and this is known as the frequency of this wave. Uh, incidentally analog uh, signals are also known as uh, the waveforms of analog signals. That's what we see here. This is a waveform. That's what it's known as. Now when we said four cycles per second there is a particular word that is used or a particular uh, measurement uh, that is used for measuring frequency that's known as Hertz uh, that was named after one of the scientists who was involved in electronics. Hertz means one cycle per second. So if you say that an analog uh, signal has a frequency of four cycles per second we could call this uh, the frequency as four Hertz. So that's the terminology that is used. So please bear in mind the important uh, points of the analog signal. We talk about amplitude, we talk about signal strength, we talk about the time frame, then we talk about the cycle from one end to the other, from here all the way to here, the one cycle. And of course we talk about the frequency that can be measured in cycles per second, but in general it's measured in the term used as herds. Now the next question is can information be represented using analog signals? The answer is yes. One example is uh, the use of the modem that was uh, discussed earlier where dig digital signals are modulated into analog signals and the digital information here is carried by analog information. Uh, another example of uh, information being carried using analog signals is in the AM radio broadcasting technology where say that a voice varies in this form, say this is the variation uh, of a song, the signal of a song, then it is possible to use analog signals to carry this information by using the analog signals and by altering the amplitude of the analog signals we can approximate the shape of this uh, song or voice and this analog signal is transmitted uh, if you have a frequency of uh, say 980 uh, kilohertz then we can use the uh, radio transmission technology to transmit this analog signal when it is received on the other side it is usually received in your in your radio when you tune to this frequency that's the way to receive a broadcast when you 
tune into 980 kilohertz you will receive this signal and the signal will have a form like this the one you see and uh, something like this and at your radio the pattern is followed and the signal pattern is extracted this incidentally is the song or voice that was transmitted and this of course is what we hear so here are two examples in the first example we used uh, analog signals to carry digital information in the second example here we used uh, analog signals to carry analog information.